In today's message, I want to talk to you about why single mothers are losing, why they struggle in the end. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, oftentimes I catch these videos, you know, I've heard it come out of single mother's mouth and there's a stereotype, you know, that if you fit the build, there's a, a, a mindset, a way of life as a single mother that if you believe, you know, like a lot of them do, you're gonna be damned. See, what most single mothers fail to realize is they believe in a lot of logical fallacies that are against righteousness, that are against the truth of the Most High Yah. And what happens is these women, you know, a lot of times choose men that are not showing they have the characteristics of being wise men and these women lay down with fools sometimes and they paid on men with that same brush they lose respect for men because they chose a fool you know due to lack of discernment due to lack of wisdom due to their mother not teaching them according to righteousness and then you have the single mothers who just are rebellious and got a, a, a case of the ass and wanted to leave. A lot of these single mothers divorced and we see that they're hitting the wall, possibly had a man that was wise and trying to steer them right, but they rebel. You know, when you look at scripture, when you look at the Bible, how many times do you find passages of, of, of a scripture talking about she gave him a bill of divorce? No, it's unlawful. You always see that the man issues the bill of divorce. You always see that. Therefore, it's unlawful for a woman to divorce her husband. And oftentimes these women get out here, these single mothers, they think that the grass is greener and they find out that they're back on the market only to be a sperm receptacle. Today, man, I wanna tell single mothers that if you have made yourself an enemy to Yah, when men tell you, you need to be more modest, you need to be more submissive, you need to be more respectful, you know, you need to quit worrying about what's in the world and take care of the home. You know, the, the, the scripture says, I will have that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house to give the adversary no occasion to speak reproachfully. Man, single mothers, like if you have made yourself an enemy towards Yah, I don't care what the sisterhood says. They're leading you astray. And you got these women that can't get a man worth his weight in gold. You can go get some Tom, Dick, and Harry that'll shoot his eggs up in you that he don't really want to take care of but you're not gonna get you're not gonna get a godly man you're not gonna get a man that fears y'all and keep the commandments you can say you know him all day long say you love jesus say you love god but you're just honoring him with your lips your heart is far from him why is it far from him because you rebel you rebel Man, there's far more passages in the Bible of men being warned about wicked women. Just because you feel like you deserve, feel like you're entitled, I, hey, there ain't not one woman out there that's been able to manifest the kind of man that she wants. 
It's either you submit to the program, the righteous program, or you suffer. Or you suffer. Man, you can say, I want a man that make all this and he's high value in this category. But what I don't never hear any of these single mothers say is I want a man that's God fearing and a commandment keeper. When we look at the most high Yah and his will, that's the whole duty of man to fear him and keep the, keep the commandments. That's the conclusion of it. Man, if you are a woman out here, a single mother, meaning you've got a seat, you've got a child by somebody else and you're out here trying to uh, believe all of this feminist gynocratic nonsense about, you know, you're adding value by this and by that, all that foolishness. Let me tell you something. I'm going to give you the playbook because there is men out there that will give you an opportunity to have an elevated status, meaning you probably left out of your relationship where you had a certain status, you had a certain provision, you had a certain type of protection, but because you neglected to do what you were supposed to do, now you are at the mercy of another man giving you an opportunity to have an elevated status once again. First and foremost, if you fit the build of the wickedness of a woman that I've mentioned in this video, you need to repent. You know, because why would the Most High Yah bless you with the best that he has in a man and you are the worst of women? You know, oftentimes women will insert themselves in places where they don't fit. You'll read, you know, a man finds a man who finds a wife obtains favor from the Lord, but you ain't no wife. Biblically, what a wife is supposed to be. You're not a help me. You're a headache. A lot of you got some jacked up mindsets, you know, where you have this. I'm going to place the kids first and the man going to come second. That's the reason your life is out of order because your mindset, you know, spiritually, you're out of order yourself. Doesn't the word say that Hamashiach is the head of man? Man is the head of woman? Yahoo is the head of Hamashiach? But you're sitting around talking about, well, my kids are always going to be first. And that's all you're ever going to damn have. You and your kids. That's it. Because you don't want to fall in line with biblical order, but yet you insert yourself thinking you are a just and righteous woman and you think you're entitled to all the blessings that the, the Most High Yah is just going to pour you out a blessing when really you're rebellious as hell. You know, quit worrying about what all these other problems these women got in these relationships and trying to give them wicked advice. Save your damn self. Save your damn self. When you when you get a feeling up in you and you think you know what you're talking about, look at your track record and ask me, what has your feelings got you? And then put the shut to the up, shut the hell up, and listen to wisdom. You got women out here that are trying to help you out and give you the cheat code, but you don't want it. You want to play the game on hard and lose out when you ain't qualified. You got women like the Crimson Cure. You got uh, River TV. You know, you got uh, not only like Michelle Obama that tried to address the women. What do you do? Shame the women at giving you wisdom to succeed. Man, I'm telling you as a single mom, you know, you're going to end up getting men that will take you out on a date and all of this, but they're not going to be willing to invest in you. You know why? What 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 is there to invest in? You're rebellious. You place the kids first. So a man is supposed to provide and protect and do all this crap for you, but you're going to let his house fall apart. Why? Because you don't want to keep the house. You know? If a man has seed by you, he already knows you jump ship somewhere else. So he's supposed to confidently have a seed with you knowing you already jumped ship in your rebellion in a previous relationship 
as to reason why you're a single mother. And he already knows, push come to shove, if he's got a job to put everybody else first, and that's your expectation, but you don't put him first, that's a losing situation. You out of line and out of order. You know, there were some women in the Bible that was righteous women. And the Most High Yah, even at old age, unlocked their womb. See, the problem is the Most High Yah didn't unlock your womb and allowed you to have kids to teach you a good lesson, but you haven't learned it. You're seeing all of these single mothers who had a man at some point talking about how hard it is. I didn't think being a single mother was supposed to be this damn hard. How damn stupid can you be? How damn stupid can you be? Two is always going to be better than one. But what happens is a lot of single mothers are selfish. You know, you got a man, he might not be the end all be all, but guess what? You damn ain't either. And both of y'all need to be working on yourself. You need to be submitted to the program of righteousness. Ain't no point in going, listening to a word, hearing the words of Yah, if you don't never want to damn apply it. But what happens? You will leave a man that's providing. You will leave a man that's trying to give you wisdom. A man that's trying to get his house in order. You know, have discipline, structure, protection. And you will leave in the middle of the night due to a, a, a feeling or emotion you had that you're not happy. Not freaking happy. Where do we find that in, in scripture? Supposed to be doggone happy. No, you're supposed to be a living sacrifice. That's what you're supposed to be. You think doggone Messiah, doggone, was the last sacrifice for freaking everybody so you could just go out here and rebel? You out of your damn mind. And I'm trying to help you out. You will leave all of the protection, all of the provision to go out here and struggle. Not know how you're going to be able to... Uh, not having a place for the kids to stay. You got these kids couch surfing because you're chasing self-happiness. Selfish is hell. Jealous of what you see other women have or you think they have, and you're willing to jump head first off a cliff, dragging them kids behind you. Self-love, self-happiness. Who told you to do all gonna do that? Who told you to doggone Love yourself. The most high y'all says in the last days, people will become lovers of self. He also tells us to avoid such people. You wonder why men is avoiding you. I'm telling you, I'm giving you the cheat code. If a man comes before you, let your pride go. Regardless of sitting up talking about the business you got, the house you didn't got, you know, what you add to the table and all of that, don't say none of that bullshit. Don't say none of that. Men don't want to hear that. And that's why you're in the boat you're in. A man don't give a damn about your education. You could be a, 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 a heart surgeon. Be a rebellious ass woman and see one a man not fool with you. But he'll, he'll, he'll shoot his rocks off in you. Fornicate with you. Man, you get... This is what you need to bring to the table. Hey, I want to be a help meet to my man. When a man comes along and, and I know I want an opportunity to be a wife again because I didn't jacked it up, I want to be a help me, not a headache. When my man tells me to do something and I know deep down it's right, I need to put the shut to the up because my flesh going to mess this up. I need to be willing to do exactly what that word says. Man, the word says if a man has a has a good wife, his days will be long. You gotta ask, how many gray hairs are you adding to the men that you didn't been with? These men, these good men who you claim you want, a lot of y'all don't even know what a good man is. But a lot of these good men that you claim you want, you're not even on their radar because of the rebellious spirit in you. And you won't even repent for it. You won't even take accountability for it. You'll just dress it up and let the sisterhood pat you on your back. Keep on failing. Keep on failing. You and your kids out here unprotected. 
the Most High Yah's will is not for a rebellious woman to be covered. Not to be covered. There is no protection from that. Jezebel got dealt with in Revelation. Man, all of this stuff that you guys get caught up in. Let me go get my body done. Let me go get a mommy makeover. Don't you know that the word says beauty is vain? Why the hell y'all so damn focused on beauty? Like that's going to get you a good man. That's going to get you the same plum fool you probably didn't had in the past. And here's, a, here's, here's the kicker. A lot of y'all single mothers are getting out on these podcasts. They got video footage. And you're showing the world your rebellion. Sit the hell down somewhere. Shut the heck up. Anytime a rebellious woman opens her mouth, any man that was going to look at you and try to give you an opportunity is far gone. You ran him off. All the nagging like a leaking faucet, like the word says. A man getting with you is like holding on to a scorpion. He just gets stung all the time. How many women, you know, want a man to have every damn thing and you ain't got shit? You ain't got shit, you know? You got a doggone Mercedes and you're prideful in that crap. Oh, you know, well, I got a Mercedes transmission about to damn fall out. You ain't damn had the oil change in two years, check engine light on, but you just gonna make up that thing in a new hairstyle and make it seem like you ain't got baggage. A lot of y'all is a lot of y'all is, is, is stuck on stupid trying to force another man's kid and try to guilt trip a man into raising somebody else's kids. That's a privilege if you get that. Y'all are out of y'all mind. And I'm trying to I'm trying to give you some wisdom. Man, if you if you conduct yourself as a righteous woman, a woman that's submissive, a woman that's not trying to show everything off to the world. A woman that's obedient. A woman that reverences her man. Man, you might get another opportunity. A woman that falls in line with biblical order. How are you out here call yourself dating, looking for a good man, but deep down spiritually, you don't respect men. You don't respect men. You ain't been taught how to respect you. See, what this world has told you about how to respect yourself, that's all wickedness. Because you will go out here butt naked and wonder why you are attracting fools. Wonder why you're attracting no good men. You have to be taught how to doggone respect yourself. And your mama probably didn't teach you. Why? Because she probably had that same rebellious spirit in her. She was probably, you know, trying to chase career, chase goals, accolade instead of doing what the word said i will have that the older women are reverent in behavior not slanderers given to too much wine to teach the younger women what is good to respect their husband to love their children no mama wasn't teaching that mama was trying to have hot girl summer too mama was trying to get her freak on and freak me man i'm trying to tell i'm trying to tell you something that will help single mothers out you can follow these feminist women these gynocratic women, we see, what's her name? Uh, Ebony K, Ebony K then recanted her statements. Talking about y'all need to submit because she's she's realizing, bro, that grass ain't greener. That grass is not greener. You thought you got some green grass and you in a pile of weeds. All the men that, you know, are committed, they're already involved in relationship and you ditch yours. And then what happens? When your children's father moves on and is happy oh all of a sudden you bitter you trying to insert yourself anything any way any shape form and fashion you can father come along but like, i want to take my kids on a vacation you inserting yourself well that'd be a nice opportunity for a family vacation bullshit bullshit you ditched you neglected to do what you were supposed to be you're no longer entitled to that but that's a problem a lot of y'all got that entitled I deserve mindset because I feel. And you need to do some, some deep sea soul diving. Deep sea soul diving. Repentance and deliverance out of this stuff. You see what Beyonce just said? 
Beyonce showed honor to her husband. Meanwhile, she been selling y'all a wicked ass doggone dream the whole time. Y'all been listening to that Beyonce, girls run the world, but what's she doing behind closed doors? Submitting to her husband, reverencing her husband. Seems like a damn hypocritical woman to me that then sold her soul for money. Even she got sense. Man, you might want to wake up. I'm trying to help you out. I know you might. I know a lot of women are part of the tone police. You might not like it, but I'm trying to tell you how you can prosper. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking the gun barrel straight.